Welcome back to Tech Spotlight. Thank you so much for joining. This video is actually a request from a subscriber, WallyDolly81, who asked me to compare the Fire Max 11 to the Samsung Galaxy A8. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Thank you so much for the comment and reaching out. Let's jump right in. All right, so you see we have the Fire Max 11 right here. I have done a review on this one, so I'm going to uh, skim through the specs on this and then compare to the A8. If you want to see the full review on the Fire Max 11, it will be linked in the video description. All right, so the Fire Max 11 is the new tablet from Amazon that's going to be coming out June 14th. It's an 11 inch tablet. It's got an octa core processor. Standard comes with four gigs of RAM um, and comes in 64 gigs. Uh, does have 128 gig, which at this point in time um, seems to be uh, all sold out. You can get with or without lock screen ads, and then you can get various bundles with uh, slim keyboard, keyboard case and cover, stylus, things like that. Um, but the big thing that you all care about is, is the specs. So it's a 2.4 million pixel display. It's a 2000 by 1200 resolution. Um, again, four gigs of memory, has a Wi-Fi 6 for fast uh, surfing and streaming. Um, the, the One of the things that I like about the Amazon tablets, I do have a tablet that I use for like my gaming, my browsing, and I do have a separate tablet that I use for travel um, and reading, which is the, I have a Kindle Fire HD 8 Plus. I like the, the hardness of the screens. I've dropped my Kindle Fire numerous times in the driveway, things like that, and I've not had a screen shutter yet. I would not test that with my Samsung tablet. Um, so you've got 14 hour battery life. You can get the 64 gig or 128 gig, um, up to a terabyte, uh, expandable memory with a micro SD card that is not included. But why I got into the, um, the hardness of the screen. So they are, uh, strength and glass, um, comparable to the iPad 10.9 inch 10th gen, um, is what they would compare this to and again like I said I've I've used these myself I would attest that for the price that you can get an Amazon tablet for highly highly recommend if you want a, a pretty durable tablet uh, depending on what you use it for um, now this tablet like I said 11 inch um, you can get the Microsoft 365 for three months um, 8 megapixel camera on this and then, of course, it's Amazon, so you have access to Amazon Kids and things like that. Make your kid profiles, uh, of course, compatible with Alexa. So, you know, again, for the for the price, it was uh, two twenty nine. Yeah, two twenty nine for the sixty four gig. Is is a pretty you know sizable you know tablet compared to what they have been. I'm trying to get down here to the table view. So let me zoom out just a little bit here. And we can see this. So these are the Fire Max 11 compared to the HD 10 Plus, and then, you know, down from there. So again, first 11 inch touchscreen tablet in the lineup. Um, before this has been 10.1. Um, resolution, biggest resolution that they've had. Everything else has been maxed at about 2 million pixels. And then you see the octa-core processor. So this has two uh, ARM Cortex-A78 processors that are, are up to 2.2 gigahertz. And then it's got six ARM Cortex-A55 processors that run at up to uh, 2 gigahertz. And then you'll see previous years they were... Octa-core, hexa-core, or quad-core maxed at 2 gigahertz. So this is going to be a pretty speedy tablet. Again, RAM at 4 gigs, and that is DDR4 RAM. And then available 64 gig or 128, up to 14 hours battery life. Um, USB-C charging. Um, could fully charge in just over 4 hours. 9-watt uh, adapter. Um,
or you can get a 15 watt adapter charging three and a half hours. Um, accessories galore, uh, pretty lightweight, 490 grams or 17.28 ounces, and then eight megapixel front and back facing camera. So if you compare the camera to the previous model years, eight megapixel compared to two and five uh, or two and 720, it's gonna be a uh, great camera in this. Uh, auto autofocus on the rear facing camera volume buttons two built-in microphones SD card slot a USB C um, and then it's got the positioning holes and the pogo pin that will connect to the uh, keyboard case so if you want to take a look at all of the specs for this one check down in the description I'll have a link to the FireMax 11 all right, so I jumped over here to Samsung Mobile. So this has all of the specs listed out. Um, I do apologize, this the Amazon listing didn't have everything I was looking for. So uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab A8, available in different colors, released in 2021 in December. 508 grams, Android 11 is the operating system. Uh, it does take uh, you know, SIM cards, and you've got 1920 by 1200 pixels that is 215.6 pixels per inch it's an octa-core processor up to 2 gigahertz um, and then RAM with these tablets one thing to keep in mind if you go with a 32 gig tablet you're gonna get 3 gigs of RAM if you go with anything higher than that you're gonna get standard 4 gigs of RAM up to 1, tele, uh, one terabyte of additional memory is available uh, video recording, you can record in full HD. Five megapixel camera, eight megapixel wide angle camera on the back. It's a 2.0 aperture, USB C uh, charge port. Bluetooth is version 5 and a 7040 uh, milliamps battery. Now, I am going based purely off of A, the listing, B, what are you getting for the price? So when you compare the two, you're going to get slightly better resolution out of the Amazon Fire Max 11. Um, from what I can tell, you're, you're going to get that standard 4 gigs of RAM, the lightweight, that long battery life. The octa-core processor with the dedicated two, uh, two ARM processors at the 2.2 gigahertz plus an additional six at the two gigahertz uh, ARM processors. You couple that with the fact that it's an Amazon tablet, um, you can get the bundles with it. So if you want to use this for like work or school, you can get the keyboard bundle, um, the stylus, if you like drawing, you know, things like that. If I were to compare these two based purely off of the specs alone, I would give the win to the Fire Max 11. I think that it's going to have better processor speed. Um, I like that you can jump right in at the 64 gigs and get that 4 gigs of RAM. Um, you know, longer battery life, lighter weight. Um, I think that the Fire Max 11, even though it doesn't run the Android system, takes the cake on this one. So again, if you want to check out these two, check down in the video description for the links. Thank you so much to my subscriber for asking for me to make this video. I appreciate it very, very much. Please let me know what you think. And if you end up purchasing one, let me know which one you got. Um, but until next time, guys, thank you for joining Tech Spotlight for another review. Have a good night.